Great. Great job. Great job. Okay. So before you guys leave today, you'll be getting a shot record proving that you received the vaccine from us today. And this vaccine is a two-dose series, so that means you'll need to come back in 21 days for the second one. Again, with any vaccine, you could have a pretty sore arm at the injection site, maybe some redness. But if anything else happens, make sure to contact a medical provider or go seek medical care. Okay? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Well, good morning, and thank you all for being here. I want to thank my wonderful wife, our second lady, Karen Pence, the Surgeon General, and Dr. Tony Fauci, and uh, members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force who are joining us uh, here today. I especially want to thank the fine medical team at, at Walter Reed Hospital that administered our vaccine today. I didn't feel a thing. Well done, and we appreciate your service to the country. You know, as the Christmas holiday approaches, this is always a season of hope. We gather here today at the end of a historic week to affirm to the American people that hope is on the way. And Karen and I were more than happy to step forward before this week was out uh, to take the safe and effective coronavirus vaccine uh, that we have secured and produced for the American people. It's a truly inspiring day. As the people of this country witnessed this, uh, this past week under Operation Warp Speed, the first coronavirus vaccine is literally being administered in states across the country to millions of Americans. And make no mistake about it, it's a medical miracle. The average vaccine, I'm told by our experts, usually takes between 8 and 12 years to develop and then manufacture and distribute. But we're on track here in the United States to administer millions of doses to the American people in less than one year. It is a miracle indeed. And I also believe that history will record that this week was the beginning of the end of the coronavirus pandemic. But with cases rising across the country, with hospitalizations rising across the country, we have a ways to go. And I want to assure the American people that we're going to continue to make sure that our health care providers have all the support and resources they need to meet this moment. But vigilance and the vaccine is our way through. And building confidence in the vaccine is what brings us here this morning. Ever since I was asked by President Trump to lead the White House Coronavirus Task Force, I have been inspired by the diligence and, and energy uh, of, uh, of our researchers in this country. Early on, the president brought some of the leading pharmaceutical companies in the world together in the cabinet room and said that we needed medicines, we needed therapeutics, and we needed vaccines, and we needed them in record time. I watched the historic pace with which the dedicated men and women at the FDA worked. But today, Karen and I wanted to step forward and take this vaccine to assure the American people that while we cut red tape, we cut no corners. And thanks to Operation Warp Speed, thanks to incredible research companies, thanks to the great work at the National Institute of Health and the great and careful work of the FDA and the leadership of our president in Operation Warp Speed, 